Hey everyone, it's Kyle here, and in today's video, I want to take a look at the Thomas Nelson Sovereign Collection, and I know this is obviously um, <laughs> a different looking Sovereign, but we'll get into it in just a minute, but I do want to say thanks to all my subscribers um, in the last week or so. We've gained quite a few, and I, I do appreciate that. Everyone that's watching, um, you know, liking, commenting, I do appreciate that. Um, a couple boys and um, part of the youth group that we're associating with, uh, we went on a trip, and uh, I told them about my YouTube channel. And uh, in, in the room, they, uh, I walked into the room they were staying in, and um, there they were watching my YouTube. So um, I do appreciate everyone that does watch. It really is a blessing. But um, let's get right into this um, video today. So this has become a very popular text block. And I'm mainly going to speak about the uh, text block in this episode. Um, I mentioned before about the cover on this. I, I have a separate review of this cover, an unboxing of this. This is done by my friend Jason Bales at um, Dogwood Rebinds. I'll leave his email below if you want to reach out to him. Um, he's excellent to work with. i um, actually been talking with him today about a pro, uh, you know, about two two Bibles I got um, he's working on now. So um, he's he's been a blessing. He's he's a great guy to work with. And um, but I got this rebound from him. And this is in his uh, green goat skin. Actually, gave me. This letter here, and uh, so I don't mess it up. It's green goat skin that he got from Romania. Um, but we're not here to talk about the rebind, but it is a beautiful goat skin. I'll let you see the uh, the um, the cover have that nice pebble. It's it's very um, very soft and very uh, not sticky isn't the word I'm looking for, but it, it's very nice to hold, and I, I really do like that. But what this review is about is the inside, the uh, text block of this Bible. Like I said, it's become a very, very popular text block. Um, and I will leave links in the description where you can pick this one up. Uh, they have it offered in uh, two different types, I believe. I believe you can get it in genuine leather, and I believe that is edge line, and then you can get it in leather soft. This one was the uh, tan leather soft edition before it was uh, rebound. It was in tan leather soft. Um, I've been trying to get my wife to get a a purple one, but she she wants to stick with her her Bible, so uh, I can only do so much. But uh, anyway, so it's got three different options you can choose. Um, the size they call this a personal size, but it's it, it and it is it's a it's a good size to preach with you preachers. Um, it's not too awful big. I'll do some size comparisons in a minute. But the size on it here, I'll let you see it standing up. It is five and three quarter by eight um, and three quarter, I'd say. Um, you know, tall and then um, and the width there and then the thickness is about an inch and a half. So I'll let you see that. Which, obviously, with a rebound, it's going to be a little bigger. And I'm okay with that. But again, let's get right into the text block here. Um, it has your, at, you know, your normal uh, presentation page, uh, Holy Bible, um, got an authorized King James Version. Now I'll show you the um, copyright page here. Let you take a look at that. Let you see the typeface and stuff. This is part of the comfort print by Thomas Nelson. And I'm going to tell you, they knocked it out of the park with this one. This is, to me their best uh, comfort print font. Um, they do great in the McLaren. I, I love the, the coloration and all that stuff. But how they give homage to the King James Version and how they... Um, it's a very classic looking text and I, I love it so much. Um, this is by far m my favorite comfort print. This is done by 2K Denmark. So um, there's that. It's got the um, the 
translators, generators, the small one there. Um, I think it's got the Old Testament here. I'll show you this. Genesis, it's got your book introductions, and then it's got the layout of the text with the um, references below. And the reason I love this so much, I'm a huge Scholar fan, and the Traveris and the Canterbury have those drop caps that are just beautiful. I love it so much, and they have it in this as well. I posted, um, uh, I get on my wife's Facebook a lot, and I posted on the um, the Everything Bibles page about uh, this rebind, and I showed the text, and someone asked if it was a Scholar, because that's how close and similar it is to a scholar, uh, I feel like uh, they need, I know they have a personal size Canterbury, and that's a little smaller, um, but, and I'm trying to get my hands on one of those, if anybody out there <laughs> wants to uh, contact me, um, thinking about trading something, but um, I know the personal size is a little smaller than this, but Skylar needs to come out with a size like this, and it's just... And obviously, like I said, with the Revine, it's going to be a little bigger. And like I told you before, this is the tech block. So that's kind of what you're looking at there. It's, it's a good size. But, uh, so as I showed you the uh, Genesis, how you see the, um, the theme here is red. And uh, I love it. Look at the drop cap right there, that letter A, the detail that they put into that. Like I said, my favorite um, comfort print font by Thomas Nelson is definitely the Sovereign. So the references here are nice. I do like those. Um, it's got the, um, the translator notes, I believe, where it, if there's a word you don't understand, it's got that below. Um, I think that's what it's called. I'm sure I'll be corrected. Um, but that's that's what it has and I, I really do like that um, it's got cross references and all different kinds of things here it's a very good preaching Bible I preach this Bible multiple times and it's just excellent to preach from the uh, references probably it's become one of my favorite ways to have references one of them is below the text it, it leaves everything out where you can just read it no distractions or anything that sort and I, I really do like that here I'll show you the um, the red letter that Thomas Nelson does and they do an excellent job of the red letter I feel like in the last few years uh, Thomas Nelson has really stepped up their game and you know this they're just they're really doing great things um, the red lettering is spot on you don't have to worry about it being pink. Now, I, I do have a Bible, that um, the Tom, Thompson Chain, that's one of the newer ones. And this is just my, my opinion. I'll do a review on it. But the red lettering in that Bible is so different on each page. One page is like dark red. The next page, it's so pink you can barely see it. And I'm just not a huge fan of that. That's why I, I you know, I don't mind black letter text because you don't have to worry about the discoloration of that um so that was the new testament with the red lettering um and i'll show you the um the concordance um before i get there it actually has a page of miracles of jesus christ it's got the parables of jesus christ it's got a one-year reading plan um so i'll show you those two things real quick there you see the miracles of Jesus Christ. I'll, I'll get a little closer if you want to see. You pause that. And then it's got, like I said, the parables of Jesus Christ. And then your one-year reading plan, if you want to use that. Um, then we have the concordance. And one thing I'm sure anybody that's watched me has realized that when, when I have a concordance... Uh, it's just something in my mind that I'm picky about. I want the text size to be very similar throughout the Bible and in the concordance. And I understand there's so many words and there's so many verses that they have to 
um, reference in a concordance that it's hard to get the text size, you know, big. But with Thomas Nelson, the concordance they have here, it's perfect size for me because it's about the same size. It's got even the same drop caps for each letter. So I love this concordance. It's probably one of my favorites um, of the Bibles that I have. I, I really enjoy it because it's a good size to read. It's not too small where you got to um, get a magnifying glass to look at it. It's just the right size. And then you got Thomas Nelson maps, which you all know it's the, um, they're not bad maps. It's just uh, glossy maps that most people don't like, but it doesn't bother me at all. I'm not a big user of maps, but I, I do like that. But that's pretty much it for the inside review of the Thomas Nelson Sovereign. I will do a little, a few size comparisons here. Um, this is the local, uh, not the, uh, I don't believe it's local church. I get confused. This is the, let's see. I can tell you right here. This is the church Bible publishers. Excuse me. This is the hand size full yap edition. Um, the uh, hand size text only. And you can see they're very similar in size. Um, the Sovereign with this um, cover. And I, I should, I wish I got another um, edition of the Sovereign so I can kind of show you without the uh, rebind. But, I mean, they're, they're very similar in size to me. If you know what this feels like, you'll know about what this is, you know, if you get a rebound on it. So, there's that. And then, one I did want to show you before I showed you up against the Canterbury is this is the Thomas Nelson McLaren. You all that love the McLaren know the size here. And with this rebound, it's about the same footprint. Um, let's see here. It's, it's very similar, um, but again, this, this bottle feels much smaller, but it's just my opinion. And again, it's been rebound, so that's a lot of size, maybe a little different. Um, and here it is with the uh, Canterbury. And again, very similar. That one's a lot slimmer, but very similar in size. And again, uh, I did want to clarify that is why I you may ask Kyle, why didn't you go to the head and tail bands? Why didn't you go to the ribbons? Why didn't you go to this and that and the other? Because all that has been replaced. It's not stock anymore. Um, there's new head and tail bands, um, three new ribbons. Um, everything's different on the outside of this Bible, but the text remains the same. And uh, so that's kind of why I didn't go into all that. And I just want to show you the inside of the Thomas Nelson Sovereign Collection. So, with that being said, again, I'll have um, links below where you can check out if you want the leather soft, the genuine leather, whatever you like. And if you just want to pick one up and get it rebound, uh, reach out to Jason. He does some great work. Um, some of the best I've ever held, I've ever seen. And I uh, just, I really uh, thank a lot of him. He's, he's become a good friend. Appreciate him, but I'll have his contact below. I'll have links to all the Bibles, even even the ones that I didn't go into depth over. I'll have links to all these below that way you can check them out. But uh, with that being said, find time today to get God's Word. Appreciate you watching. God bless.